Hey everyone, I'm Paul with Madcap Software. This is the final video in our series on meta tags in Madcap Flare. And I wanna wrap things up by showing you my project and the things that I've done in there, uh, simply because sample projects, which is what I've been showing in this video series are all well and good. They're really convenient and quick. Uh, but a lot of times I find that people wanna see a real project what uh, th that's actually you know creating real content and producing real output and see what you're doing. And so that's what I wanna do here. So we're gonna go into my project and I'll just show you around um, and you'll see some of the same things that I was talking about in the sample project I'm, I'm doing in my real project. All right, so here it is. And when we first started uh, getting, uh, we released, meta tags, I had to decide how I wanted to use it. So this, I actually started here, uh, doing it in my own project, figuring things out, what I wanted to do. And then I created the sample project. And so the sample project is actually sort of mirrors this one in some ways, but I've got, uh, you know, I've got a whole lot more in here. So open up advanced and I've got mine here under shared because I've got folders for all these different products that Madcap has and some things that are just shared that, that are the same across all the, the products. Um, or at least I, I just want, I just want to, you know, make, make it available to all projects. And so you can see these advanced folders I've got in here and I've got three, uh, meta tag sets, and they're exactly the same that I created in the sample project. Uh, you're probably going to come up with other needs, minor general promotion and resources. And over time, I'm probably going to add to this or change it. But this is what I started out with. So this will look pretty familiar. Open up the general meta tag set. And I use a copyright because it's just a quick, easy way to provide copyrighted information on all your stuff. Why not do it? So I added this text uh, meta tag in here, and these are all variables. Uh, this one is like, uh, says the word copyright and then the copyright symbol, because I might use this uh, you know, other places than here. And then I've got this year meta, uh, variable, did I say meta tag variable there, just like I did earlier in the video series, company name, Madcap Software. And then this says something like all rights reserved, I think. And then I did do have this description meta tag in here. So I use that. Although over the years, there are lots and lots of topics where I have already used the description meta tag. So when I get into those topic properties, it shows up down in that custom area. But for new topics that I create, I'll expand this general meta tag set and I'll provide the description. So this is all I have right now in my general meta tag set um, because I haven't been doing this for very long and I'm sure these things are gonna grow. Go into promotions. Now these are things that I'm using specifically for uh, micro content integration more than anything else. That's the whole reason I created them. And when you get into the micro content video series, if you watch that, you're going to see these in action. Products, I just uh, created meta tags for each of our products because in the output, somebody might click, uh, open up a certain topic where I'm talking about something like um, a translation and Lingo is our translation tool. And so I want to promote Lingo over on the side for those specific topics. And so I'm connecting my micro content to that meta tag. So I've just created all these four products. And then I also have these uh, meta tags for what's new. So each um, product will you know, have a release and a what's new list of things that are what's new. And I might want to promote that. That's why I call this the promotions meta tag because it has to do with this promotions micro content feature where you can say, hey, uh, I know you're looking at this thing, but you might be interested in this over here. All right, so promotions and then resources. And I have, uh, so far I've only put this together for Madcap Central and Flare, uh, those two products. So this thing is definitely gonna grow but I've got lists of user guides and videos and cheat sheets. These are PDFs or video links, everything in here. 
right? And so I'll open up one of the central ones that's that's shorter. So these are the names of user guides in here. I just created meta tags with those. Videos, you know, something that describes the video that I know, I know what's going on. And I use these for micro content to display, you know, related resources to a topic you have open. You might, you know, be interested in this user guide or this cheat sheet or this video. Okay, so that's what I'm doing for now. And like I said, these things are, are going to grow. I'm going to think of things over time. You are going to think of other uses. But for now, this is exactly what I'm doing. And of course, I am using the description meta tag on topics. And the other thing that I'm finding is that I really like the ability to set meta tags on folders. There will be a lot of times where I'll have folders and subfolders and subfolders, and I'll just set something there. Um, you know, one of my promotion meta tags or something so that I'm not, I'm just saving time, saving time doing that. All right. So that is it. That's my project. And I do have a lot of meta tags in there, but uh, I, I'm sure this thing is going to grow over time, like I said. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video series on micro content, where a lot of these things that you're seeing are put into action to really enhance micro content. And I'll put that uh, video series, a playlist at the end of this one. So just go to the very end and you can hop right into those videos. Thank you so much for watching this video and this entire video series. And we'll talk to you next time.